Mm. It had a little kick to it. Whee! Got to get to them fishes. Get to them fishes where they're going to be. Oh, where are them fishes going to be today? Fired up. I need to go find some fish. Where do I find a fish when it's 100 degrees outside? Maybe out deep. Maybe in some shade. Maybe they might be tickling the surface as the sun goes down. I'm gonna do a little graphing. I'm not gonna waste your time while I'm doing that. When I find the fish, I will show, I will reveal. You can always go with the sniff test. I don't smell any shad right here. Better rock and roll down south. Here we go, baby. First fish. Little bass. All on the lunker log. Little guy. Got him on the five inch classic watermelon red lunker log. Just on a little Nico hook. What's going on here is there's some cables that run out uh, anytime you have the marina structures, floating docks are usually tied with cables to the bottom. Fish will suspend around those cables in the summertime. So these are just the first ones I pulled up to. Never really slammed anything gigantic off of them, but they're usually good for some bites. I have located some offshore bass, y'all. I'm a silhouette right now. Look at this hair. Look like a, look like a uh, peacock here. Um, these fish, these bass, are sitting on some rock. There's a nice little point ditch situation. And there's shad sitting on, on top of the food shelf. It is 6.39 right now. That seems pretty late. However, it gets dark at like 9 right now. So the prime time really isn't here. I've caught one bass so far. Uh, and I'm going to drag around offshore. Drag it around. Drag around a worm of some sort either a mono worm or a lunker log or something something to that effect maybe a trench hog just on that rocky bottom and see if i can get bumped i marked about five or six bass so hopefully we'll bang one of those and then um the white bass they're circling around as well so if they come a popping i have a popper ready and i'm gonna box some it is time i have not boxed any white bass this summer it's insane i know as soon as i say that they start coming up so I think we are in prime position right here to fish for bass. And if those babies come up, just bye bye. Just get get them all. School spotted. I just saw a bunch of shadows on my electronics right over this point. Oh, there's one. Got one of you guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Eater. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try to get five of those. I don't really want to clean them all night. There's got to be a bass down there somewhere. I mean, this is just like ideal. Oh, right at the boat. You're not going to keep those, sir. A little too small. I think it's going to get real nasty here. Super nasty. This is our Guggen Squad Recon right here. The Mini. Oh! And I like, I like using this one right now because the shad are so small. For largemouth. And for this situation, obviously. Working good. Hello? Hey, sweetheart. Hey, buddy. Do you want to go fishing tomorrow morning early? Uh, do you? Well, I will only go if you go. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. I got a white bass on. All right, bud. See ya. 
looks like we're going fishing in the morning. The the uh, the amount of white bass that are coming up at this this stage is uh, it's pretty silly. I'm actually going to let this one go. They're just popping the top like no other right there. Really focusing on this point. We're starting to run up shad here this evening. The shad always they come up in the evening. The low light they kind of chase the plankton around and bass just kind of follow. Just had a hit there. Oh, there he is. Oh, just, just getting him. Got him. This is where the crankbait excels because it's getting down there when they're not coming up top. top. Always a good combo. Top water and a crankbait for white bass. That's a good one there. That's an eater. We'll go ahead and keep you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's a fatty and we'll keep you. Only need a couple more. I'm good. These things are so jammed up with shad. I'm definitely gonna get one on this point here. There we go. Oh, a little fight to you. Hey there. It's actually pulling back decently. Oh, are you a largey? I think, my, I think that's a largey actually. I wonder if it felt good. Come here, buddy. Getting the old largey on the recon. Here we go. This will happen a lot too. You'll get them, get these large mouths just mixed in. Like this is very typical, like textbook. You know, the white bass are roaming around. You'll chase them all around, but the bass, they're kind of lazy and they're just gonna stay pretty close to that, that point right there, the closest cover. So, all right, let you go, buddy. Get back in here. So they're firing away out there. I'm gonna keep casting out this point because if old four or five pound largies sitting down there, I want a shot at him. Oh, but gosh, they are just healthy and slamming these shad. They're full of them. Oh, that's the bottom. Some brush, oh, there it goes. Got it, got it. Oop, oil, boils by the brush. Oh, ah, oh man, oh my gosh, knocked a lot of slack in the line right there. Oh gosh, that's a good largemouth. That's a largemouth for sure. He's coming up. Oh, he threw it. Gosh, he just hit it so hard. It was like, no doubt it was a largey. So they are up there in that brush. Chasing little shad and there's another one. That's a white bass, so white bass just kind of they get on, large mouth, hit it, and they just feel a lot heavier. Oh, that's a large E right there, 100%. Oh, y'all look behind me. <laughs> I'm gonna cast right here though. That large mouth looks about two or three pounds. Oh, come on, come on now, be a large E. Nope, uh, white bass special. By the way, oh, this is one of my favorite colors that we have in the Guggen Squad crankbait series line. It's called Cosmo Shad. And it's uh, it's like a light, like a faded chartreuse bottom and then a dark black back with gold dust. Kind of like the Cosmos, looks like the stars. And then uh, we got purple. It's not a real bright chartreuse. It's really good for just stained water. Oh, there we go. Come here, baby. Largey, yeah. Come on, baby. The large mouth are just setting up on this cover. I'm not gonna say textbook, but it's, you just know where they're gonna be, you know. Summertime fishing, baby. Nice keeper large mouth. Healthy, healthy, healthy. All these fish out here are super healthy right now. Absolutely gorging themselves on small shad is the thing. They're not big shad. See ya, baby. Go get a little bigger. Oh yeah, forgot to sniff you. Mm, had a little kick to it. Whee! Kick to the exit too. Oh, they like it that pause. 
Little guy. Ooh, there we go. Here we go. Largey. Largey hooked up. That one felt tasty. Oh yeah, there we go. Made another pass on that point. Woo, Largey hooked up. Really just bent my rod over when I first hooked into it. Didn't know what I was about to get. Nice, nice little large mouth. Oh, I say little, he's a fat one, daggum. Nice, very nice. All right, I'm gonna hook you, sir. Let you go, see ya. Man, I like, I like this kind of fishing. You got the action, action of the white bass, put them in the grease, and then you can get hooked up on a nice large mouth. That's, that's fun times right there. You can see these fish. Ooh, white bass are stacked in there. Oh, white bass hitting it again. Immediately just feel that tail start digging. Just mixed in there together. Oh, there we go. Oh, RG. Oh, gosh, double jump. Gosh, he hit it on long, long pause. Long, long pause and loaded up on it. Ooh, the triple grips got you, boy. Triple grips got you. All our Guggen Squad cranks come with these uh, Mustad triple grip hooks, which is nice, but also just using that softer rod really helps. Oh, that's got something. It's got something weird going on there. That's like six largemouth bites I've had off one point. They're also, uh, they're pulling water out of the lake, creates a current. So that sometimes gets them stacked on these points, but the shad are just stacked in there. Got a, got a white bass hooked up here. I think, could be a largey. I think, uh, I don't know. Coming up to jump, maybe? That's another largey. <laughs> crazy y'all it's crazy just all stacked in one spot all stacked in one spot this little mini recon just gets it done when they're eating these little shad they're definitely liking these long pauses too gosh there's another largey largies are fired up right there little guy they're really moving into position to feed on these shad little guy and they are just absolutely loving this mini recon very very nice one thing that i really like about these style hooks too in the summertime is you get these you know warm water temperatures in the bass's mouth it gets soft like it softens up and it's it's harder to keep them hooked hooked up. So a uh, triple grip or a uh, EWG style uh, where it kind of bends back versus like a round bend, it seems to work a little bit better. It just keeps them, keeps them from jumping off as much. They're still gonna jump off, but. This is what I'm talking about on these hooks. See how they, they kind of come back instead of a round bend. That just keeps the fish hooked up a little bit better, so. Oh, I'm hooked up on another largemouth, but I just saw a big shad jump out of the water. Like, I've been seeing all these little shad getting eaten, but I just saw a big shad getting chased. There has to be a good sized largemouth that's crept up in here. Oh, man. Like a gizzard shad being chased. Oh, they're activated on this point so much. I fit the same piece of brush like four times and gotten a bite in it. Like just let it slowly float up, creep up, and then they just can't stand it when it's doing that. Whenever you feel the crankbait hitting cover, like a good piece of cover, like a tree or a bush, just really slow down and let, let the crankbait crawl up 
the tree. And eventually it's it's gonna bump, you know, the right piece of cover, just get them to react to it. Gosh, there's a bunch of them in there. There's another one. It's a white bass though. Stacked. So the ecosystem situation that's happening right here is we've got the white bass that are just running running these shad like crazy and they've got them freaked out pushed up against this point and the largemouth they don't like to chase nearly as much they're letting the white bass do all that that heavy lifting chasing them around and then literally they're just sitting up there in one spot if i can find my pliers i gotta remember to keep some of these too sidetracked by the largemouth bite here but they've just got them trapped Sucks to be a shad, that's for sure. Biggest one right here. Nice fish. Barely got that last hook. Boat flip. Yo, baby. Nice one. Nice one, nice one, nice one. There we go. Yes. I got to tell y'all, it is pretty fun designing crankbaits and lures. And then, uh, you know, now with them just about to pop out in the market, this is really just awesome, y'all. So there's a nice... The fish is getting up there close to three. It should be close to three. It's probably two and three quarters because it's so skinny. But that's the biggest one of the day. Just stacked right here. It's kind of crazy how these bass are just setting up with these white bass, but they're just they're just right there with them. See you, baby. Ah. You'll get the white bass. They come up and they start like pushing shad around. You'll see them and, and then uh, the largemouth start biting. It's like they're just activated by that. So, Whew, I might end on that one. That was, that was fun. <laughs> Got that hair again. Ah, oh, a good dangle this evening y'all just coming out here for a couple hours just getting back from iCast 2 and launching all of our new Guggen Squad products partnered with Catch Co and the Mini Recon absolutely crushed it so I'm excited for y'all to get your hands on them and give, give us feedback you know they're really good crank I'm so proud of these crankbaits so anyway enough bragging I feel like a proud dad and I am and my baby girl took some of her first steps today as well. Uh, on a sad note, we lost a chicken to a predator, but uh, I gotta go fix something with that. I will keep you updated. Oh my gosh, the white bass are schooling right here at the boat ramp too. <laughs> I'm done, I'm done. If you want to get your hands on the crankbaits first, uh, go to shopcarls.com. I'll leave a link down below. They, they're gonna be available, if they're not available right now, uh, when you go click on the link, it's going to be very, very soon. It's it's some point uh, towards the end of July, so it's happening very, very quickly. All right, y'all, don't forget to subscribe right here. Huge monster trip coming up, and I'm doing vlogs every day up until I leave, so you don't want to miss. So subscribe right here so you don't miss a single video. Go ahead and smash the like button for smashing bass in a couple of hours on one spot with a new crankbait. Boom! Gave me a little confidence right there. All right, y'all, I love you. I will see you on the next one.